Welcome back to the business. Now, once again, I've got Andrew Morton with me from Footprint Renewables. Um, now, we're going to be talking now, Andrew, specifically about the lack of apprenticeships that are going on at the moment. Where do you see the shortfall coming and where can people get involved? I think at the moment uh, there's a big need for people to, to start thinking about, obviously in terms of offshore wind anyway, um, being um, engineers and those mechanical and electrical engineers uh, that the turbine's going to need. For every turbine there's going to be going to need an engineer, so there's going to be lots of jobs out there. Um, I think the Grimsby Institute and the Hull College have both got uh, very, very good plans at the moment for, for that. Uh, some of them are already in place. Uh, I think that's a really good starting point. Both have got excellent information on their websites. Uh, and also Renewable UK, the, the industry body, has also got information on its website as well. So it's worthwhile checking those, those sources out and really asking questions. Uh, there's some great people at those colleges. They're local. Hopefully the local people will benefit from these jobs. So, you know, give them a call, you know, be proactive and it'd be amazing how you can get results from that. Because I, I think as well, there's a lot of people out there that, as you rightly said before, for every turbine you're going to need somebody to connect it up to do some work. Yeah. How many wind props are going to be out there? Um, I think to give you a sense of scale, the big sites which everyone's getting very excited about at the moment in the North Sea, um, they're one of them I, I know in particular, um, it's the same size as if you drove from Liverpool to Hull, it's going to be full of turbines. Another one is the size of North Yorkshire, so you get a sense of scale and a sense of opportunity there. Uh, and of course everyone from engineers right through to boat handlers, right through to the caterers will need to feed those boat handlers and engineers. Uh, it really is an opportunity for everybody, um, but it's not going to come to as easily. We need to be the area that is the cluster for this and is, is leading the way. Otherwise, further north, further south uh, of the Humber, they will do it. Yeah. Well, that's great. So it's giving you some good advice there on who to get in touch with and what to do. If you do need any more, then you can go to Footprint Renewables. They're on our site and there's a link there to their site to get more information. So once again, it's been great with you, Andrew. Thank you very much.